What's your reaction to an incredible 10 days for Andros Townsend? Yeah, wonderful for him. Uh, I think comes along with uh, you know the the explosion that he has had recently in the in the Premier League, not only in Tottenham but for his country. Uh, I think uh, you know he's been uh, he's been doing extremely well for for both the club and country, and uh, and deserves that uh, credibility. And uh, you know his uh, his own grown product. Uh, we are very proud of what he has done, uh, and we um, you know we've seen him play with so much. Uh, Confidence and determination that he has uh, really set um, his uh, his place uh, in in the team, uh, not only in Tottenham but also for his country. I think you talked a little bit at the time when he was first called into the squad about how you hoped it would be a long-term <coughs> process for him. Yep. If he keeps playing like that for Tottenham and England, it will be long-term anyway, won't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but uh, it's performances that keep like this that keep you. Uh, your place in the team, and I think uh, whenever he has been called up by myself or by uh, Roy Hodgson, he has uh, he has given uh, you know great uh, great performances individually. So uh, I think at the moment um, uh, we are very happy with uh, what he's been doing, and I, I would say that Roy feels exactly the same. One article today raised the question of if it might be difficult for you to continue playing someone who's a homegrown player when you have others in the squad who you've signed for, for tens of millions of pounds. Mm -hmm. Is it not a, a huge positive for the club that you've got a homegrown player that you can keep in the team? The fans love it. I'm sure the club love it too. It's not a question of, uh, of love or media love or fans love. It's a question of what serves the team and, uh, and who is performing better. Uh, so. I think we uh, we assess the uh, the training uh, who is doing well. Whenever somebody is doing well, uh, deserves the possibility to keep on and holding to that place. Uh, and Andros has, has has done that ever since. So uh, he knows that he has tough competition for his place, not only from uh, Lennon, from Lamella, but from Shadley and uh, and uh, and Sigurdsson. And um, and I think he, you know, he will continue to deliver. That's what we want. That's why we've uh, we've built the squad that we have. Does your sort of duty of care, if you like, as his club manager, extend to, to checking that he <coughs> was okay with everything that happened in the fallout with the, the the Hodgson team talk issue? Do you just keep an eye on that? And, and if so, what has he said to yeah, you? Yeah, I, th I think it was m uh, made public by both. Uh, and it was pretty clear. So I think it's uh, it's the end of the matter. Uh, Roy assumed his responsibility, has apologised. Uh, Thousand had uh, said that there was no offence taken, and uh, and I think we should all move on from that.